Oh my god. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. You only got a couple more months left, though, yeah? You guys gonna... Okay, that's cool. I'll just go. Whew. It's so far back here, man. Can I just carry this thing? Why can't it... Or can can I just outfitted the the troops I have with me to carry some of those? Cause this running back stuff sucks. I'm gonna see if maybe they are carrying something that I can just take from them. Cause this really does suck. I'm not a fan of this. Oh, there's wood at my feet. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Dang it. Nice. That'll work. It's gonna roll at me. It's not. I like how they just yell. Rawr! Yeah! Tree cover, friends. Oh, bust up my bolt cutters. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. You need to set the bell. Okay. Gotta set the alarm. These guys are just chill as fuck. Artillery. There's Van Dorf's symbol. Oh, I thought those were his nipples on his shirt. It's a bag he's wearing. That's funny. Oh, no, it's Freddy. Okay. Who's a doggo? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, there's a locker. Was I supposed to go this way? Oh, hey, buddy. Yes, I was. Can you kill the windmill? All right. I thought I was supposed to go right, so he was going to go left to find secrets. Also, how that got up there is beyond me. Cannons are that way. Ooh. I need those. Hey, doggo. Go get me a grenade. Who's a good doggo? Come on. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna have you go get another one. And you can join me over here. Right, okay. Good boy. Oh come on! Exactly why I had him bring to. No, no, I need this. What is this? The crane? Okay. What is this? It's a grabby. Here we go. You find something? What'd you find? What? What'd you find, buddy? Dig. Why can't I dig? Dig. Uh. Sometimes he just sits there and like, oh, he wants to dig. Look, that's the symbol. There it goes. This is his stance when he wants to dig, and sometimes he just stands there like a dummy. Dig! Oh my god. Why? Why? Dig! Dig down! Dig! Dig! <sighs> dig! Thank you, god! 
Ooh, keys. Oh, don't dig into that. That'll explode. Probably gonna have to move that stuff. Might be whatever's hidden in here. Nope. Put this right here. All right. Oh snap! Hello. Okay. How do I? Oh, like this. Oh, I gotta put this down. And then I gotta do this. Yeah! Grab one. There you go. Load it. There we go! Yeah! Fire, that's what I want to do. There we go. You said the windmill, right? That? Windmill off in the far off distance? Yep, windmill. Wow. You can move a lot more than I figured you'd be able to. Boom! No, you do. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to reload it. No! Too far? What? I'm shooting the windmill. He did have a picture of trees. Windmill. Trees. What the fuck? Trees. Those look like the trees I'm looking at. Or that he's screaming about. So to the right of the windmill, north of the trees, right of the windmill. I don't know what I'm shooting at. Right of the windmill, north of the trees. There, okay, I got it. He, he was actually giving me positional coordinates. Enabled Freddy and his regiment to reach the rear line unharmed. <laughs> Bravo, Freddy! Bill, thank you very much. The military hierarchy heard of their feats in battle and decided to decorate the two friends for their bravery. Emil received good news from Anna. Carl was recovering nicely. He was even walking again. Meanwhile, the battle for Verdun only grew longer and bloodier. The death toll was staggering. 70,000 per month. That's Almost so much death. And one German every minute. And it went on for 10 months, day and night. May 8th, 1916. Emile's squad was sent on a mission to take back Fort Duamont a strategic point in the German defense. When was it World War One or World War Two? Where the on Christmas, the two sides actually called a, a hiatus and they kind of like partied together and a lot of them refused to fight each other the next morning and got uh, court martialed and suffered desertion. Was that World War One? Yeah, because they came out of their trenches. So, yeah, that was World War One. I. I wonder if they're going to bring that up. Oh. 
Mines, don't you hurt the dog, yo. What's it pointing at? Is that just saying someone died there? I thought it was gonna be mines. Oh, snap. Where's the doggo? Where'd my dog go? Where's my dog? Or do I want? Tomat was one of the symbols of the Battle of Verdun and was exploited by both camps for propaganda purposes. The Germans seized the fort in February 1916 before it was seized back by the Allies in October 1916 with heavy losses. In the meantime, the fort was damaged by a huge explosion which killed almost 800 Germans inside. Rather than, than the work of some valiant heart, the explosion was caused by a ne neglected stove. The ensuing fire spread to the petrol and the ammunition supply. Jeez. Ooh, flamethrowers. Yeah, that's when shit got bad. The Germans were the first to use flamethrowers in an assault on a previously held position in 1915. Although the attack was expected, the use of the weapon came as a surprise and caused a large number of casualties. Its psychological impact was huge, but British troops soon learned to cope with the slow-moving operatives lugging heavy equipment It did and did not adopt the weapon themselves. Still though, while seeing some dude get close to you with a flamethrower, that'd be terrifying. Where's my dog? Did I break? Oh, I can dig. Oh, I understand. It's like playing Minesweeper. <laughs> it's legit playing Minesweeper. It's like, don't dig there, there's a mine. Don't dig there, there's a mine. Oh, this one doesn't have a marker. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Wait, what? My handy dandy shovel. At least it's not a spoon anymore. All right, so wait for the steam. Okay, it does run out. Go, 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 go. Secret? Found a secret. Ooh, another shovel. Trench shovel. French army trench shovel. The shovel was too short to be of any real use digging trenches or tunnels. However, French soldiers soldiers sharpen the tool's blade to turn it into a weapon more effective than a bayonet. Oof. Alright, do what you need to do. Alright, is that gonna turn on? Yep. Go. No, go! Really? Is that one not gonna turn off? I can dig up. I knew I could. Oh, of course. So that one stupid clock thing I missed earlier, you can't dig up when using the D-pad apparently. You have to use the joystick. I hate using joysticks. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. What? Hey, the doggo. Good boy. Oh. Where'd you go when you go through that one? Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, I thought he had a flamethrower. I was like, if you cook my dog, I'm going to end your life. Is that going to kill the fire? Yes, it does. Alright. I thought that was going to be the stove they talked about. I like how I climbed over that. 
Let's go beat him with my shovel. Get beat! Yeah, that's right. Alright, I'm gonna save my friend. Oh, snap. Oh. Go this way. Can I outfit this use with like an explosive? That'd be kind of great. What am I going to do with this? So I'm going to, yeah. And let's just, w oh, there's an explosive. Aha! Uh -huh. Doing things. Oh, I'm gonna gas him out. I get it. Empty wooden chest. An empty wooden chest used as luggage by German soldiers. Suitcases were not widespread, and poor soldiers left for war with their affairs in a knapsack or in wooden crates. Alright, let's choke that guy out real quick. I need to light that. Oh, can I do this? No, that doesn't sound right. So he's gonna cook this. I'm gonna bring it down. Oh, he cooked it way too quick. There's the dynamite. Yeah, I knew that. Will this work? It sounds like it's not a good idea. He's just gonna cook it. No, he's not. All right, let's grab another one of these. Later, man. Good to see you, Fusion. You have a good night. Appreciate you dropping in. Can I do this? Yep, that was exactly what I needed to do. I thought these would just burn. one? No. Oh, I guess that counted. Yeah. yeah! Let's go fuck him up now. Guess not. Oh. He needs dynamite. Yeah, I need to control him now. The dog in there though. Oh wait. Can he go in that little hole? No. Hmm. How did I get him up here? Try this. Good doggo. Whoa. Oh. Okay. That's what I needed to do. Get them to work together. Good doggo. Who's your good boy? Don't hurt the doggy. 
Okay, so I have to throw it directly at him. 